Hey guys, not a super long video on this one. I'm just bringing up a, I think like a little bit of a hidden interaction, maybe, uh, that's making some items in D&D, I think a bit better than what we've been giving them credit for for the last like seven years. Now, as much as I've been playing this game and studying this game, I was still caught off guard by this interaction that's going on. It was only whenever I started to design my alchemist class that I realized alchemist fire and maybe acid are a little bit better than we thought. This interaction has to do with the fact that both items list that you have to make a ranged improvised weapon attack, or rather that you treat the attack that you are making, the action that you're doing as a ranged improvised weapon. I'm under the assumption that most tables believe that whenever you use a vial of acid or alchemist fire, the damage that occurs is just what's listed in its description. However, if you go over to the text on improvised weapons, it clearly states that they do a D4 of damage with a damage type appropriate for the object on the same page. So I think we've been evaluating Alchemist Fire as if, yeah, it doesn't do the initial damage, but then it does a recurring damage on each of the creature's turns. And like, uh, it also seems weird that maybe with Acid, if it's going to do the D4 and then the 2D6, maybe Acid is a little good. <laughs> Now, sure, both of these items are going to be ones that, like, you can't really get back, you know, reliably, reliably, uh, unless you go with something like, you know, some homebrew, like the alchemist I'm currently building. But, like, it's just really interesting to me that these are, this is an interaction that has apparently snuck by so many of us for so long. I just think it's fascinating. I mean, I think that Acid and Alchemist Fire are still a little too expensive for, like, every character to get reliably. But now I'm starting to think that, like, just because of the initial damage it does tied into the 2d6 or, like, you know, recurring fire, 1d, whatever, I don't know if this was, like, intentional or not, or, like, if we were supposed to be running it that way and maybe some of us have just been running it wrong, or I don't know. Uh, but I don't really know that it makes either of them really good. I think you'd have to reduce down the price of both of them a little bit to make it more reliable, but, like... Boy, I don't know if you really want to bring down the price. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, just an interesting thing. Let me know what you all think down in the comment section below. If you haven't seen my channel yet, hey, I'm Taryn, Indestructible Void Pounds. I am a class designer over on the Dungeon Masters Guild, designer of the Merchant, Roomkeeper, and Dancer. Uh, I do a lot of live streaming here on YouTube just through the game design process. So if that's something, something that would interest you, why not subscribe down below? Also, if you feel like supporting the channel, you can go check me out over on Patreon. Or if you really like coffee, you can go over to Many Worlds Tavern and use code INDESTRUCTOBOY on checkout. I get a little bit of a kickback over here on the channel, and you get some really awesome coffee. Alright, so that's going to be in on this one, guys. I hope you all are staying safe, staying healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.